The process to buy a gown has been pretty discouraging because I don't want to be traditional. And for me, I feel like this process is very traditional. The gowns are very traditional. Ooh, that one's super sparkly. Ooh, this one's really sparkly. I want that one. Yes! Oh, Disco Queen! Yes. I love to be outside of the box. I don't want it to look like a bride's gown. I'm sorry, I know you're getting married, but... <laughs> She's your queen to be. <gasps> We work together um, at a radio station. We're here because I'm a little nervous that she might be a little ambivalent about picking anything, and we just want to make sure she's the most glam, amazing bride ever. Right, she has been a little indecisive recently. She's been so a little. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, wait a minute here, who's the bride? <laughs> oh, sorry. Nice sorry. 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 Sorry, thought it was me for a second. <laughs> Nikki. Yes. Hi, Hi, Diane. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I figured Nikki could go, you know, you could be Nikki. Either way. You right, could be Nikki. I could be Nikki. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Diane, nice to meet nice you. To meet and you. you are? Jason. Jason, a pleasure. Hi, I'm Angie. I'm Nikki's Hi, friend. Hi, Diane, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Mother of the girl, Maria. Hi, Maria. Nice Jill, mother of the bride. Mother, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. So, have you come from far? Chicago. Oh, okay. So we flew in for like 24 hours to Did you really? hopefully find a dress. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. New Year's Eve bride. Ah, New Year's Eve. Yep. My fiance's name is Nick. We've known each other for about 13 years. He was the nice guy that finishes last, and I was not interested. And before too long, I gave in, and here we are. We love to make each other laugh and make fun of each other, and it's just very carefree and easy. I'm gonna like start crying. I think what I love about Nick the most is how selfless he is. He always puts everyone else before him. He's like the nicest little person out for me. <laughs> okay, so the wedding is New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. In Chicago? Yep. yep. Big party? Yeah. Huge. Uh, yeah. Outrageous. Outrage oh, I love that. Yes. Outrageous. Outrageous. A black tie, huge Italian wedding, yes. Ah. <laughs> Never had a good New Year's Eve. And so right away when we got engaged, I said, I would love. I want everybody to come to our wedding and feel like it's a black tie affair. There's blacks, there's ivories, there's golds. Um, kind of what you would think for a New Year's Eve, but on steroids. So we need a party on a dress. Okay, <laughs> we need a dress that screams. Yes. Yeah. I think I want something fitted so everything's kind of sucked in. Mm -hmm. Skinnier the better. Um, and then maybe kind of bigger so I can just dance all night and not feel like I'm kind of constricted. And price points, just so I have a guideline. We never discussed it, so... Guys Sky's the, the limit. limit. No budget, you know what that means. She could try on anything she and wants. Yes. Yes. yes! Okay. Nikki is here for a showstopper dress. These are like the dream appointments because you get to show some of the most um, kind of exclusive and unique dresses we do have in the store. And I have a few in mind. How are you with like a very dramatic color? Like something like this. This I'm is my favorite. It. She takes me straight to the red dress. So I knew that Diane and I are on the same page. Could see like a really good glam lip with I love it, it, right? And a whole I look. Love it. Big belt, belt maybe. Yes. Mother in law's a little bit more traditional, so I don't know if she'll love the red. I don't think she will love the red at all, but maybe we can send her to go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> and then we'll just use that one. Yeah. I'm going to take Nikki with me because okay. I want at least a few of them to be a surprise for you. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> and Nikki's always been a fashion diva, so I'm not sure what to expect. If you want sparkle. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like See? Yeah. So we have that. I think she'll start us off with edgy mm -hmm. and then eventually work herself into traditional. Oh, I don't know. I don't think she'll be traditional at all. Great. See, that's very New Year's Eve. Look at that. I think she's going to be very unconventional. Well, we'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> we'll start with the red one. Perfect. All right. I don't think everybody's going to be on board with the red dress. I love that when I look down, the color pops. Mm -hmm. Like, you just kind of see that ombre of the burgundies and the bright red. Right. I think the mother's, it might be a hard sway. <gasps> oh. 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 Wow. Yes. Red. Yeah. Red. So we started out with the red one. Yes. I love it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So it is beautiful, color. right? I love it. I love the color. Big hair, bold Mid lip, right? Not traditional. It's beautiful, but no. I think Nick would be a little bit shocked. <laughs> He's looking to see her in more that traditional look of a dress. 
I think it would be amazing if you were going to the Met Gala or the Oscars or something. But this is it. But it's not. I mean, you'll you'll look amazing in anything. And I, I mean, girl, red drama. I love it. Right. But the red for, is everything. For the wedding. She looks amazing, but I'd like to see more bling. Yeah. I understand. I love this dress, but it's not it. Maybe if the gown itself had had a little bit more embellishments, that would have been ideal. I'm just being selfish, like in the red. <laughs> you do need sparkles. She does you need, need sparkles. Blank. Yeah. Next. Next. This is really pretty. This is like princess pretty. This is Disney princess pretty. So I'm going to put Nikki in a Panina Tournée dress next. It's traditional, which I know her mom will love, but at the same time, it has lots of bling, which I know Nikki will love. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's very pretty. So immediately, I step on in. The satin feels wonderful. And we have the girls in black satin, so I feel like that would... Right. Coordinate really nice mm -hmm. together. I'm absolutely loving the top. Like, the top is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm curious to see what my family's going to say. Panina and bling. Nikki, that, you look like a New Year's Eve glitter ball. I, I said, it. this is like a Cinderella dress. Yes. Do you want to be Cinderella? <laughs> I mean, let's turn around and show them. I love the Panina gown, but I'm not getting the reaction that I want from everybody else. There's not enough going on on the bottom for me. Still not you. Plain Jane Still on the bottom. Not you. You're not plain Jane. <laughs> no. Nope. I mean, I love that whole corset, and I love that bling, and you look New Year's Eve on the top. But I'm bored with the bottom. I think it's a mullet dress. <laughs> yeah, like, cool on one side Business and not cool. in the front, party, party in, in the, the back. back. Party on the top, boring, boring on the on bottom. The <laughs> Ready? Stop. This is the dress. Oh, I, I just got chills. I just got chills. Isn't that beautiful? It's, it's gorgeous, yes. right? Yeah. It has the sparkle and the color is light, but you still have, see, contrast. Yep. Very different. It has texture. I'm gonna cry. I'm finally getting some real emotion out of Nikki, and I think we're onto something. So pretty. It literally looks like fireworks just down does, right? in my dress. Yep. The whole dress Everything. Is just so much going on, and I live for that. I feel like this could be the dress for my New Year's Eve wedding. Diane promised me sparkly, so there better be some sparkles. That's all I gotta say. Well, I have faith in Diane. Some people I don't, but I have faith in Diane, and I think Diane is going to bring it. Is that not breathtaking? Is that not spectacular? You're stunning. I love this so much. It is everything that you wanted. Is she Fire. crying? Why are you crying? Oh, she is crying. <laughs> I can envision Nikki walking down the aisle in this gown and everyone turning and being speechless. It is New Year's Eve on a dress. But if I were to walk in, would you be like, that's a Nikki poll? Nikki. That's, That's Nikki. Nikki. Yeah. A thousand percent. I, and everybody is going to be blown away. I see Nikki's face, and she just, her whole aura looks different. She looks like an angel from heaven. Diane killed it. There's sparkles. Oh, you, like you sparkles. didn't let me down. Did you let, that, did you let the other and one the go? And the fact that you just gave me chills. Perfection. perfection. Absolute perfection. Perfection. Do you love it, Maria? I love it. Good. Can we put a veil on? Of course. It truly tells us who she really is. Oh. Right. Oh. You look amazing, and I have thought about this day since you've been a little girl. It just it takes my breath away. All of a sudden, they're wearing this fabulous gown, and your little girl is not your little girl anymore. And Nikki's going to absolutely love you coming down that aisle, seeing you in that dress. My mom's crying, I'm crying, I'm crying because she's crying, Maria's crying because she's talking about Nick, which is making me cry. Not enough tissues for the room. Pretty, right? Yes. Everything that I was looking for. It was, right? It has right? style, it has character to it. It's different. And you could see yourself marrying Nikki in this dress? Yeah. 
And wearing it on New Year's yeah. Eve, right? Yeah. In Chicago? Yeah, 100%. So then I have to ask you, Nikki, are you saying yes to this dress? Yeah. She said yes to the dress. I think finding the dress today, definitely something I didn't think was gonna happen, but it's New Year's Eve on a dress, exactly what I was looking for. It's perfect. My name is Stephanie, and I'm here to find my dream dress. Stephanie? Hi, Stephanie, Hi, how nice are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Well, Welcome to Coyote. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow, what is this? For the Jingle Bell crew. I have my mom with me, my sister, my aunt, and my grandmother. Tell me about the bells. This is what we're gonna use to vote. So when is the wedding? It's Black Friday. The kick off the Christmas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want it to be like the jump start of the holiday season. So you really want like a big holiday theme. Right. I see pine cones and snow covered branches and little details like that to bring in the holiday spirit. Tell me what you're looking for. Something that's just timeless. Okay. And how do you picture? That's what she likes. Okay. I, on the other hand, no, my mom, she may be opinionated and thinks she's always right. I like that full princessy look and she's like, yeah, no. Every mother wants to see their daughter in a princess dress. My mom's opinion does matter to me. I wouldn't be happy if she wasn't happy. Where would you like to be price-wise? 5,000. Okay, okay, come on, follow All right. me. All right. When a bride says that they want the winter wonderland theme, I think of maybe some crystal beading or something sparkly, something that just makes it a little bit more in the holiday spirit. So you could take a seat right there. Okay. How did you meet your fiance? My fiance's name is Adam. We met five years ago at a friend's party. We talked all night and we've kind of been together ever since that day. My wedding, it's gonna be in Delray, New Jersey. I would like my dress to go along with the theme of the wedding, same winter wonderland type feel to it. So we want something that's fitted, but we want something that's a little, has embellishment on mm -hmm. it. So give me a couple minutes okay. and we'll go out and do some shopping. All right. With Stephanie's winter dress request in mind, Debbie's off to find her own Santa's little helper. The perfect person I wanted to see. What you need. Okay. so. Bride's name is Stephanie. She's getting married during the holiday season, during Christmas. They have bells with them. They're ringing like Christmas really? bells. Really? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna know if they festive, like it or they don't like the it. Festive season. Wait. Hi. Hi. I heard bell ringing from across the salon. <laughs> That's us. That was your entourage. Yep. As the Jingle Bell crew gets ready, Debbie slips Stephanie into Just dress Stephanie. one. Yes, ma'am. How do you feel about the shape? I like the shape. Mm -hmm, me too. What do you think your family's gonna think about this one? I don't know if my mom will. I'm sure she'll like it. Okay. But she's expecting, you know, though. Let's go show them. Okay. When I see this dress, I'm thinking this is exactly what I asked for. I like that it's more fitted and then flares in at the bottom. And I like that it's laced. Okay. And it's like a subtle sparkle. Mm -hmm. It's like everything so, that I said. Okay. I didn't hear any bells ringing. No, I didn't hear any bells either. Wait, that's a low bell, that's a high bell. I love and it. And that's like an in-between bell. <laughs> They're in the middle. They're in the middle for me. The dress that she has on right now is what I think she wants. But I would love to see her in a princess dress. I'm still okay. looking for that. We're gonna have to put a ball gown on for mom. Yeah. Yes. I'm kind of getting a little bit nervous. I hope that these jingle bells don't present a problem. Now Debbie hopes dress number two will please everyone. Let me help you out a little. You seem like to, you seem to be having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, this is the first dress I felt like, wow. Oh! <laughs> when Debbie puts Stephanie in this dress, she lights up almost like a Christmas tree. I feel like we're finally getting somewhere in this appointment. Wow, this is very like yes. winter esque. There you go, winter yeah, wonderland. It is. Oh. Bring up the caboose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> woo woo. This is the first dress I put on, and I said, wow, I really love the top, and I'm surprised that I love the skirt. I really knew that that was it for me at that moment. Should we turn you around and yes, let them yes, see? Yes. <clears throat> kind of in the middle. Yeah. In the middle? Yeah, in the middle. <sighs> but this is... Mm, Too plain. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling like she sold, like this is the dress, and I didn't like it at all. Not at all. When I turn around and I don't hear the jingle bells going off, I felt upset. Should we put on the fur? You know, Stephanie really loves this dress, and I feel for her because none of her entourage is ringing these bells. I want to jump in there and grab the bells and ring them myself. 
Are you disappointed that your family um, doesn't love the dress as much as you do? If they don't love it, then I guess it's not the dress. Stephanie really needs to hear those bells ringing. So it kind of feels like we've taken a few steps backwards here. Stephanie is really relying on everyone in her entourage to sway her opinion. I want to say, yeah, I would definitely get it, regardless of what my family thought. But I think at the end of the day, their opinion does matter to me. OK, how are we doing? Good. Good. When Stephanie put that dress on, she said, wow. So the only thing that's standing in between her and the dress is you guys. Right. How strong is she? I'm not sure. I don't okay. know if she's going to, I don't know. I don't either. I'll be just as interested in you as you to figure <laughs> that one out. Now Debbie puts Stephanie in a dress she hopes will please everyone. <laughs> it's beautiful, but I'm comparing it to the other one. And? And I think I like the other one better. OK. That's really pretty. Wow. It's really pretty. I really I like, it. like it. It's a little more right. form fitting, mm -hmm. but then I still get my poofy at the bottom. Okay. I think we're gonna have to go back in the stock room. One more time. One more time, yeah. I agree. Yeah, come on, let's go. All right, let's we're go. Back to the drawing board. All right. Stephanie thought she found the perfect dress for her winter wonderland wedding. But a disagreeing mom is acting like the Grinch who stole her Christmas dreams. And I didn't like it at all. Not at all. As the search continues for Stephanie, mom has some words for the bride-to-be. When I saw that she was unhappy, I felt like I needed to go and say something to her. Hi. Hi. Come on in. I want to make sure that you know that it's about what you love. OK. I don't want you to feel like you can't get something and, you know, if our bells aren't ringing the right way. Or... I want everyone to love it. Though. I know, I know. You know. And now I'm comparing everything to that Because one. that is the one that rocks your world. <laughs> and it's your world you have to rock. Her talking to me definitely put me back on track toward that dress. After mom's kind words, Stephanie's ready to step back into the dress she loved. I think it's very winter wonderland. I just started getting giddy. What do you think? I think I love it. You think you love yeah. it? Yeah. Well, you know you no, I, as I was looking at it, I just got happier and happier and happier. That's exactly <laughs> how you should feel yeah. in your wedding dress. I was what are you saying? I nervous about the Jingle Bell crew. How do you feel? <laughs> that is music to my ears. <laughs> when I hear the Jingle Bells going off, it meant a lot to me. I think they came around. When she came back out, yeah, I couldn't help it. I just loved it. Are we going to say yes to the dress? I'm saying yes! Yeah! Let me hear some bells! Woo! Stephanie will walk down the aisle in this $5,300 Lazaro gown. I feel so happy. I'm so excited. And I'm relieved that I found my dress here. My name is Katie Harton, and I'm here to look for my bridal gown. Hi, I'm Paula. So nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Who do you have with you today? Today I brought with me my mom and my dad, my sister, my best friend, Megan, my fiance's niece, Tiffany, and my family friend, Camille. So Katie, when is your wedding? My wedding is January 4th, 2014, and we're going to have a winter wonderland theme. I'm hoping today I can try on a fur shawl. Maybe snowflakes on it, wherever there may be beading. I'm just looking to look like a winter princess. So price point? About 2000 I am a bargain hunter. I love to feel like I stole something from the store. So we're going to go and try on some dresses. Good luck. Good luck. Yay! When I think of what Katie wants to look like, I think of a big ball gown with lots of sparkle. Come on in and sit down. So Katie, tell me a little bit about your fiance. My fiance's name is Larry. We actually met back in high school, so I've known him for the past eight years. He's like my Prince Charming, and I'm so excited just to be with him forever. We're just really hoping for a sparkle throughout the whole night. We want it to be like a fairy tale. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go get you some dresses, and then the fun will really begin. OK. With a bride dreaming of Christmas, Paula enlists Randy. I need your assistance. OK, great. She wants a winter wonderland themed wedding. This is the perfect bride for Paula, because Paula is like sugar and spice and everything nice, and the holidays all warmed up in a cuddly blanket. 
What about this gown? Ah. This to me speaks Cinderella. I think this is a winner. Well, hello, princess. What do you think? This one is probably more of my style. I like the beaded top. Oh, good. Paula hopes the first gown will put Katie yeah. in the holiday spirit. Does this feel Winter Wonderland to you? It actually does, and it's very nice and big on the bottom. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful, Katie. I feel like a princess in this dress. It's stunning. How do you feel? <laughs> He's gonna make me cry. Oh, beautiful. Please, right? Right? <laughs> the tissues, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Paula, what did you do to her? <laughs> so Katie comes out and everyone's loving it. They're crying, they're happy. It's like, okay, we're done. Did any other dress give you this feeling? No. No, but I, I like the dress, but I wouldn't pick it. What do you mean? I wanna try on something also with like tight fitting lace. I feel beautiful, but I'm ready to try something else. It's gonna be really hard to find a dress for Katie if she cries in every dress. We're trying a different silhouette on Katie because I just thought she should see all of her options. A little bit straighter, very sparkly. I like this too. See, I don't know now. <gasps> oh gosh, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> oh, again, again, again. <laughs> she goes to get good. No, 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 not again. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's going on? She's crying again. How are we gonna know when you really love a gown? What's gonna happen? I don't know. So how does this gown compare to the other one? I love the lace. I, I do like how it's fitted. So you like it better than the first one? I don't know. I feel beautiful. I think lace is very elegant. It's beautiful and you look beautiful, but I, I like the fuller. If you're really going for that princess look, then the other one really said princess. And it's the one time you get to wear a dress like that. So yes. with that being said, how do you want it to look on your wedding day? Like a princess. Before we tell you anything, uh -huh. what do you think? I love it, I love it. This dress is 3300 uh -huh. I know you wanted to stay at two. Right. It's marked down to 26. Okay. And we probably could get a little, a little off bit that. Better. Okay. When they brought in this dress for me to try on, I was in awe. I couldn't wait to put it on. I was so excited. I like it. I love the top. The top is my favorite part. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Mom, it's a bargain dress. Oh so we gosh. found this dress. Oh love my it. gosh, Katie. So how do you feel um, in this? I love the top. It's so beautiful. And what about the rest of it? It's so pretty. That's beautiful. <laughs> I knew it was the right one when I came out immediately. It's stunning. Do you feel like a princess? We have a little secret to tell you about this dress. This dress is actually on sale. So if you love this dress, this would be the dress. You would take it with you today. Um, it's in perfect condition and it is a wonderful price. So originally the dress was 33. So it's, it's now down to 26.99, but we're gonna see what we can do. Everything is riding on this dress. Now Randy and Paula hope Dorothy can work some holiday magic. Oh, Randy. Paula. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Oh Every time Randy's nice to me, I always know that he wants something. Yeah. This is our bride who has a budget. Her budget was two. Do you want to give it to her for a... Uh... Oh! We have some wonderful news for you. It's not between two and 25. What is it, Paula? It's 1999. <laughs> <laughs> It is so beautiful, everything, it's gorgeous. Are you saying yes to this dress? Yes. Yes! yes. <laughs> Katie said yes to this $2,000 Panina Tourne gown. Come here, princess. <laughs> I feel amazing. It feels so great to have my dress. I can't wait for Larry to see it. Across the salon, Audrey meets the wife of an injured war veteran who also has a set price point. Hi, Lillian. I'm Audrey. Hi, how are Welcome you? Welcome to Kleinfeld, sweetheart. Thank my you. name is Lillian Hardin. I have brought with me my mother, Peggy, and Carla, and my husband, Kevin. 
My husband and I are already married. We just did a civil wedding, so now we're going to have a ceremony for family and friends. How did the two of you meet? We met at Walter Reed Army Medical Center when I was his non-medical attendant. I was deployed in uh, SMAR, Iraq, and I was a medic, and I was there for 13 months. He was they were getting ready to actually go home. We were on one of our last major missions. We got ambushed. Anti-tank missile came through the Humvee, went through me. I had three pieces of shrapnel on my brain, almost took off my whole left hand and right hand. He had altogether 34 surgeries. Even to this day, I'm still going through rehab. I wouldn't be able to do any of that without Lily, you know, and uh, I love her. They have gone through a lot, and they have stood by each other. They have held each other up. I think him and Lillian find strength in one another. And I think they're there to support each other. And that makes this appointment even that more special. As far as price point, where do you think you'll be most comfortable? Um, we have a budget of $2,000. My name is Carla Marrero, and I help an organization called Christmas Can Cure. It's an avenue to be able to give something back to our veterans. The gown might be about 2000 but I guarantee you will look like a million dollars. Thank you. Kevin's mom had written us a letter and told us they really wanted to have their special wedding and weren't able to because of finances. So we're going to pay for Lillian's wedding dress, and we're going to actually put on their perfect wedding. Now they're going to get their full-blown traditional wedding that they really really deserve. What do you see Lillian wearing? She's always been my little princess. You'd like to see her in something princessy? Yes, I would. Generally, a princess ball gown can be much more expensive than your regular gown because there's a lot more embellishment and a lot more fabric. His recovery is coming along. Yes. His spirit never breaks down. He's very strong. Wonderful. Thank you. Good luck to you, sweetie. Thank you. People have asked me before if I regret uh, Anything that's happened to me, like my injuries or whatnot, and things have a weird way of working out. Go to Walter Reed, meet the woman of my dreams. I don't know what I'd do if I never met her. I'm gonna cry because this poor boy was very badly hurt, and he is not the least bit angry. And to me, that's what makes you very, very special. I just want to make sure I can get them whatever they want. And if the dress is more than two thousand dollars, if I have to put it in, I will. With a heavy heart, Audrey is determined to find her the perfect princess dress. Here you go. It actually makes me look thin. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Okay, come on up. What do you guys think? I think it's perfect. It is. It's beautiful. She looked unbelievable. Probably when she walked out, I would love to f have that feeling, like, at the wedding. Yeah. She definitely needs more sparkle. That's I, a little I more sparkle. A, I am a very glittery. She's very, very... Okay. Didn't give the wow factor. It's not my daughter. So Lillian goes back to find a dress that will make mom happy. As she steps into the next gown, Kevin suddenly has a change of heart and heads to the back. Now that we're having a huge ceremony, I actually want to be surprised when the actual ceremony happens. He realized that this was something more special than he actually thought it would be. Come on in. I don't want to look. Because after seeing how you looked in the first dress, as beautiful as you were, I really want to be surprised for that day. I think uh, I should go out there and uh, wait outside. OK. You OK? Yeah. Babe. Don't call me. Give me a kiss. I love you. I love you, too. He had the sensitivity to realize he wanted to be surprised on the day of their wedding. Lillian gets into a dress that has everything she's looking for, but it's $900 over her budget. I really like this dress. Wow. Ladies, I absolutely love it. That's the one. Yep. Lillian found the perfect dress. The emotion that I saw is pretty amazing. Oh. It is beautiful. <laughs> so is this your dress? I think so. Back inside, Army Bride Lillian is facing a price dilemma of her own. She loves the dress, but it's $900 over her budget. Now it's up to Randy and Audrey to work some magic. If I have to beg, borrow, or steal, I would have made it my business that she had it. 2000 is a budget. Okay. How low can you go? Um, <laughs> $1,599. <laughs> okay. She 
she brings the dress from $2,900 down to $1,599. Miracles do happen. $1,599. Did it work out really well? Yeah. Really well. We get it done. Fantastic. Wow. So is this your dress? Yes. Yes? OK. <laughs> she looks breathtaking. And to think when he sees you for the first time in this. I think he's going to be stunned. He's going to be shocked. Do you like the headpiece and veil? We got the price down. But when we came to the veil and the headpiece, we were still a little over budget. Randy and I just looked, and it's only a few hundred dollars. So we decided that we would split the difference. This is our very minor way of showing our gratitude towards them and for what they've done. The dress makes me feel incredible. She's gorgeous. She's, she's a princess in it. Y'all, yeah. I'm going to be on Say Yes to the Dress. So help me pick out my outfit. I've been watching Say Yes to the Dress since I was a little girl with my mom. And so I've just imagined having this moment my entire life. So imagine me walking into Kleinfeld. I'm a country artist. I feel very, like, bridal and chic. I'm from Tennessee, so New York City is very different. A, B, or C, which one? Help me out. I'm going to New York very soon. Say yes to the dress. Say yes to the dress. My dad was in the music industry. He was a singer back in the 80s. And I got a guitar when I was 16. And it was kind of this light bulb moment. When I know it's the dress, that is when the guitar will come out. Ooh, that looks like snowy branches. Jenny, <laughs> Jenny. It looks pretty Jen Ooh, hi. hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm Lisa. I'm I great. Know. I know. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, who are you? I'm Mom. And I'm Katie, Jenny's sister. Hi, Katie. Lisa. Oh, my God. What a beautiful family. Thank you. Look at these outfits. So we've got our really? pop of fringe and our pop of rhinestones that I always have fringe and rhinestones on. I in some that. aspect. What's the pop of this? So I have a pop of snow boots as well. Snow boots? I'm getting married in the snow in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. My fiance Dave and I fell in love in the snow when we finally admitted our love to each other. We had the biggest snowstorm in five years in Nashville that night. Really? <laughs> we got engaged in the snow in Wyoming, and so now we're gonna get married in the snow. He just proposed to me! Congratulations! <laughs> Our ceremony is gonna be outside, so we're gonna have a beautiful snow backdrop, but I need to have a dress that I can hide these under. <laughs> As I'm walking down the aisle, I want to feel like a snowflake, like a womanly snowflake. Oh, do we have a budget in mind? So I'd like to stay between three and 3,500. Okay, we are gonna right. find your wedding dress, I have no doubt. Perfect. Great. All Sounds right. Good. See you guys soon. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on back. Oh, yes, it's so pretty. I saw from your profile that you had pre-selected dresses. Mm -hmm. I pre-pulled um, three of the dresses that you had saved. This is the Martina Liana. That's my favorite, just <gasps> looking at it. Do you know what? Mine too. There's a Pronovius. I don't know if you guys have this one. Let's see. And this is the one that you're going to hate me for because I know it's over my budget, but I love it. Uh, this over $5,000. I think I'd like to just try it. Okay. Just know that if you love it, you need to be prepared to either give it up or mm -hmm. pay for it. That's true. Okay. Okay? Got it. I think that we should start with this one. From what I can tell, just by looking at it on the hanger, it has everything that I want in a dress. It's got the long sleeves, sparkle everywhere, the neckline with the illusion. So I am a little apprehensive to try it on first, because if I love it, then what do we do? You can't say yes to the first dress, or can you? Look at this. I'm dying. I love this. We're done. <laughs> well, I think we could be. <laughs> I feel so beautiful, like I want to cry. Growing up, I just always kind of felt like the ugly duckling out of, out of the bunch. I mean, you saw what my bunch? sister. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Growing up, people would look at her and be like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And then they would look at me and be like, Oh, you guys are sisters? You don't look anything alike. 
Growing up with Jenny, I could tell that sometimes she had a little bit of a difficult time. She actually was very well liked. I think she just didn't feel like- She didn't feel 100% confident yeah. in her own skin. I did not grow up beautiful. It took me a second to- Okay, get... she is very beautiful, but you are stunning too. Thank you. I'm a comparer, I think is what I am. I'm always like, oh, well, yeah, you can, I can be pretty, but, but not that pretty, you know? And so I feel like, I don't know, the stress makes me feel like I'm that pretty. <laughs> You are. I'm very self-aware that I have this insecurity about the way that I look. I mean, even a lot of my music, there's lots of songs like that that are focusing on that woman narrative that where she's looking in the mirror and, and judging herself or loving herself. And um, so that's something I'm really trying to work hard on. So uh, today I would love to be able to look in the mirror and say, I love you and I think you're beautiful. She did too good on the first one. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. What do you wow. guys think? I like it. That's very pretty. Isn't it stunning? <laughs> I feel so pretty. <laughs> I love all of this. Not all dresses have this kind of neck and not every bride looks great in this neckline. Mm -hmm. A lot of people need the opening, but you're already long. Mm -hmm. This is so stunning. I feel like it just looks like snow-covered branches yeah. coming off of me. <laughs> I'm standing here and I'm thinking, oh no, I love this one. But my mom and my sister are both very reserved in their emotions. If my family doesn't love this dress, I'll be really upset. Let me lay out the train a little. Can you turn that way just so I can really lay it out so you can appreciate the beautiful drama? <gasps> It's exactly what you were describing you wanted. Her family is kind of indifferent to this dress. I would have liked to have seen a little more, wow, it's gorgeous. Sometimes if families don't jump on the bandwagon and show the enthusiasm, it could really destroy the appointment and make the bride feel like she doesn't want the dress. This just screams put me in the snow and marry me. And I feel like a beautiful snowflake <laughs> I feel like a beautiful snowflake walking down you the see? aisle. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good, and I think this cut would really hide the boots, too. I'm seeing that my mom and sister love this dress, but I also feel like they're a little apprehensive. I have to be honest, with you, these boots happen to look good with this dress. Getting some emotion out of them today will be one of my challenges. She told me something in the in the dressing room that I was shocked about, which is that she told me that growing up, she always felt like the ugly duckling. She had a rough teenage, teenage years. Jenny went through a very, having a lot of anxiety as a teenager. And now, like, I can't even believe that's the same girl. Ugh. Terrible anxiety issues. And so I'm, the person that you see right now you wouldn't even recognize who I used to be because it's... 10 I, years ago, couldn't leave the house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? So, you deserve everything and more. Those days are long gone, my dear. Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. we're here and we're ready to shine like a snowflake. That's right. Let's go try on the next dress. Let's go. I'm like, I don't know where we're going to go from here, but show me some more magic. I will. <laughs> I definitely will. And the good news is we put this on first, so now we use this as our benchmark. Yeah. And if we don't like anything more than this, we know. Okay. Right. okay. We'll see you in a minute. Okay. That's very pretty. Yeah. Well, that. That was a way to make an entrance. That was a major, <laughs> major hit. Yes, absolutely. Okay. This is, this is going to be hard to beat. Yep. But I'm, I'm challenging you. To be honest with you, I don't think that any of the dresses in the room are gonna make Jenny feel as special as she feels right now or win her family over. So you know what? I gotta go back and shop. Yeah. And it's over $5,000, but okay. She told me it was okay. It's over budget, but Jenny did show me a picture of it, so I'm going to bring it, but I'm gonna bring her one more that's totally different. Okay, I have some dresses Yay. for you. Okay, so this is that Pronovius yes. one yeah. that is out of your budget. Yes, it is. That has very- Out of your budget, don't even remember. <laughs> and very limited sparkle. 
It is. Has some, but limited. Mm -hmm. Then I found the most fabulous, I like stumbled on it when I was looking for another really? one. Dress by <gasps> this designer, Rachel Gilbert. In your in your price point, Ooh. it is so winter, wonderland, magnificent. Oh, Take my a look. gosh. <gasps> Whoa. Do you like it? That's gorgeous. Wow, this dress is so different. It's just straight beading and it's gonna be a shock factor, I think. Mm -hmm. I want you to keep your eyes closed because okay. I mean, I think you're gonna think you look <laughs> smashing. Thank you. But I'm not sure that it beats the other one. Okay. Okay, you can look now. Oh my gosh. It is, it's stunning, but it doesn't feel bridal. I want to wear this to the Grammys someday. Can you sing me like like two lines while you're in your Grammy dress? I'm gonna love you till my tank is empty, till I've given all I've got and I can't love anymore. <laughs> oh my God, I have chills. This dress is just too costumey feeling. It's too much like Jenny Tolman, the entertainer, which I love, but not for my wedding day. So. Where do we go from here? We have the one out of the budget, this one. I, I warn you of one thing. Okay. Okay, you may love it. So, I mean, if you love it more than the other one, will you be okay with the price? Because that is the price. I know I'm breaking the cardinal rule, but I just have to try it. If nothing more than just to confirm that I love this first dress. Yeah, no, I love the first one, yeah. I don't think it's even worth going out and showing them because I feel like in my gut, we already know which dress I want. Let's put this one back on. Let's put, I know, I'm just, I've been waiting this wait. whole time to Me put too. it back on. Me too. Let's we be honest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you're back in that dress. <laughs> I'm back. We simply could not find anything even close no, to beating it. It has everything that she was wanting. She was wanting a higher neckline, and she was wanting the long sleeves. And the buttons down the yeah. back. You're I mean, I feel like putting this dress on makes me feel like this like grown woman that is powerful and knows her worth. And I'm like, that. that's exactly what I want to feel like walking down the aisle. Do you love it as much as she does? Yeah. That's very pretty. Are you gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy that she has found the dress that makes her feel good and that she wants to get married in. Amy? Oh my gosh. You are gonna make me cry. What is this? I love this so much. I'm sorry. This is... I love that the, your feeling. I was not expecting this, but I wanted this feeling. I honestly feel like putting on this dress brought me to a whole new place in my life. It almost solidified the fact that I can let go of all of those insecurities that I've been holding on to for so long. Just know that this is what I want to walk down the aisle in. So this is what it feels like. That's what it feels like, give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I believe in meant to be, from Tennessee to NYC. I've been searching high and low, and just like love, you know when you know. Jenny. Yes, Lisa. Are you saying yes to the dress? <laughs> I'm saying, yes! 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 Woo! Yay! Oh, very beautiful. Stunning. <laughs> oh, I got the word! <laughs>Walking into Kleinfels, this place is so much bigger than I thought it would be. Ooh, that's nice. People are buzzing around, brides are excited, everybody's thrilled. I didn't really think much about like an ivory. Yeah. But that's really pretty. I've dreamed about this. It's exciting. It makes me feel like a princess in a fairy tale. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Hi, ladies. <laughs> How are you guys? Oh, hi. Who's 
is our bride today. It's me. Val, Val nice dress. to meet you. Hi. I'm Michelle. Nice to meet you, Michelle. And tell me a little bit about the wedding. Where is it gonna be? Um, when is it? The wedding is right around the corner. Gotcha. My biggest challenge here today is that my wedding is in like three weeks. So I need to like get in and get out in something that fits me. It's going to be in Juneau, Alaska. Wow. We're gonna get in a helicopter. We're gonna fly up to Mindenhall Glacier in Juneau, Alaska. We're gonna get married in the cold. It's gonna be icy and blue and beautiful. My fiance, Jack, and I, we have a love affair with Alaska. And to get married on a glacier was the first thought that both of us had when he proposed to me. We decided to do an elopement because really and truly, Jack is my one and only and I'm his. And we just decided that it would be more special for it to just be us and to marry him on a glacier in Alaska is probably gonna be the most amazing thing I've ever done. I'm looking for a dress today that will be amazing on a glacier, that I can wear some crampons, little ice shoes, and that just looks amazing with the Alaskan landscape. Who do you have with you today? My cancer care team. And oh my God. My, so oh. this is my plastic surgeon. <gasps> wow. This is my oncologist. Okay. And then these ladies, um, they work with my lymphedema, with my arm that I have okay. issues with. And then this is my friend. I work with her spirit. There you go. So we have our whole crew here today. Friends that turned into family. <laughs> I'm a breast cancer survivor. I've been in remission for almost six years. And I'm living every day of my life to the fullest. The team I have with me today, they're responsible for me being here today, alive and thriving. Cancer sucks and so I could not have done this without them. So we're shopping a little bit. What are we liking over here? We love we this like one. This. Oh, wow. Okay. She has the figure for this. I, yes. yes, definitely. Unfortunately, that dress is not available. So this is gonna be a really big challenge. Her wedding is in three weeks in a spectacular location on top of a glacier, and we need to find her a stock piece today. We are concerned a little bit that I might be cold, okay. but um, I'm not willing to cover anything up. You gotta show it off. Yeah. A little cold on your wedding, that's okay. And what is the budget we feel comfortable capping it off at? About 3,000. Okay, so if you guys want, we can have a seat on the couch area and you are gonna come back with me. Okay. All right. Dorothy, I need you. <laughs> My bride is getting married in three weeks, so we need a stock piece. Dorothy is the best person to go to when you're looking for a gown. She knows the inventory in and out, and she's the head buyer of the store. This is a jumpsuit. This is so fabulous. Do you think she would wear a jumpsuit? Let's try it. She said she's but open. Like, I have to tell you something. It's like, it doesn't even look like a jumpsuit. Mm. Look at this one. I could see her in this one. Nice and fitted. She said she wants to show off her shape. OK, good. OK, Let's so let those. me start with these. I hope she likes them. I'm back. Okay, so I didn't want to overwhelm you with too many, so I just pulled three for right now. And okay. we'll kind of see what we're liking, not liking, and then we'll have more of a direction to go into. All right. So come take a look at these. Um, so to be totally honest, the dresses that Michelle just brought in, I'm not totally blown away by them. I don't think I like any, uh-uh. I kind of feel like Elvis. It's hideous. I don't think this does a lot for me either. No, I agree. Not flattering. I work out hard in the gym and you can't even tell at all. Okay, so I'm gonna go shopping for some new dresses, okay? Okay. I'm hoping that there's more out there. She's gotta muscle up and get me something good. Okay, I need you. How were those dresses? <laughs> no good. No good. I wanna go out and talk to my girls. I need a little pepping up because I feel a little bit deflated right now. Well, we have tried a few on. Nothing yet to like have you ooh and awe over. Okay. Val is being very picky, especially for a bride with a short timeline. But that's not a problem, it's a challenge. If we could live lives with veils and tiaras, so good, we would look good every day. Y'all are just trying to like spruce me up and get me all happy about the other dresses not working. Hi ladies. Getting ready to try on some dresses again? Yes. Hi. So I brought Val pretty much all of the dresses in her price range that she can take home today. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that one of these will be her dress. So what are we thinking about any of these? This one's strapless. Mm -hmm, it's pretty. We did bring these, which I don't know if you're gonna love, but we are trying. Um, now, what do we think about this one? Um, I It's not what I pictured. Um, I, I feel like it might make me look a little boxy. Okay. Like, like but I'm, I think we should go out and... Let's show them. We'll see yeah. what they think. If not, we'll try on one of the other ones. Yeah, I think we should go out and... Okay. Wow. 
Oh, oh Val. Oh, Val. Oh, my oh. word. Oh, that's, oh, look that's at so you. lovely. You look like an angel. So tell me how you're feeling in this one. I feel like it makes me a little boxy. Okay. I feel like it doesn't show off any of my hard work in the gym. Okay. It's making me feel kind of like a weeble wobble. Okay. <laughs> you, you know? Okay, so let's turn you around. Oh, wow, well, it's beautiful. You're beautiful. You look really beautiful. This dress is, it's cute. I mean, it's, it's fun, actually. Kind of dreamy, like floaty in a cloud or something but that's really not what I'm going for. I really want to go for, wow, what a knockout. I mean, you are a vision uh, and an inspiration for others. <laughs> when I first got cancer, I wasn't sure if it was localized or if it was already spread everywhere. And I didn't really even know if I'd have another birthday. And here I am getting, getting, getting married. married. Yeah. I want to try another one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. OK, let's go. All right, on to the next one. Val needs to walk out of the salon today with a wedding dress for her Alaskan wedding in three weeks, and we don't have many other options in her $3,000 price range. This is Dennis Basso at 3800 This dress is definitely over my budget, but it's beautiful, and I think that everybody's gonna like this one. I love the flowers on this down at the bottom. I like the form fitting a lot, you know, where it kind of yes. cuts in here cuts and then you comes here. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, I like this a lot. I'll show them. Okay. Oh. Beautiful. So Val, what are we thinking about this one? I wasn't really a big fan of the whole mermaidy thing, uh -huh. but I actually really like this one. I like the flowers trailing, and then there's a little bit of sparkle, which I think would be great on the glacier. So what are your concerns? Yeah, so it's a little larger than, it's gonna need some fixing. It's gonna need some fixing. Which is a negative, just the because timing. of my time. Yes. Yeah. The alterations are only going to add to my budget, so I'm going to be in quite a bit more, as well as I don't really have enough time to get this done. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, Val, you're, you're gorgeous. You yeah, have an incredible figure. I'm worried about the alterations. Well, then. And honestly, I, I don't really want to stress out. Like, this whole thing, the reason why the elopement is such a big deal is because it's stress-free. So. Yeah. It's all in her face. She's not feeling it. The bad is outweighing the good on this one. So I agree. I think we should just get rid of this one and we'll go back to the room and evaluate the dresses. Okay. Okay, so let's put this one on. Okay. Like a glove. It looks gorgeous on you. It's showing off your shape. You have the thin spaghetti strap and it has more of that bridal feel at the bottom. I I really like this a lot. You know, I'm I, that's what I'm going for, like, fit after 40. Fit after 40. Yeah. There's no alterations needed. What a relief. Ready to show yes, everybody? Yes, I am. I, okay. I am. I am. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is incredible. That is. Oh, that shows off your figure. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, so yeah. So we have more of a reaction in this one. What are we thinking? I like the symmetry right here. This is flattering. How it's bringing your eye towards the center. Okay. Yeah, but I really like this hip part right here. The side, right? This dress is amazing. I think it has all the right stuff. Oh, that is that's fantastic. fantastic. It's powerful and elegant at the same time. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh, my God. God. I don't want to get on your bad side. <laughs> This woman is rocking it. In this dress in particular, we can see all of the effort that she's put into being so strong and so fit and beating cancer. She looks absolutely stunning. And even just the way you're standing and holding yourself, you can tell that you feel I like strong it. and good. Yeah. It is very beautiful. Yeah, this one's best. You look amazing. <laughs> That's the kind of reaction I want from Jack, since it's just gonna be the two of us. Okay, I'm gonna have a headpiece. You're gonna cry. Beautiful, Val. Wow. How do you feel? Don't make me cry. <laughs> wow. That feels beautiful. Yes. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Today's experience, I will tuck it away in my memory for the rest of my life. 
I feel like I've been on a huge journey and all of you ladies have been with me. And I almost feel like this is the, I've been climbing a hill and I'm finally up at the top. Awesome. And I really appreciate all of you coming here to support me. Wouldn't miss it. For the You've supported me through cancer, but I just wanted to share a joy with you and thank you so much. So beautiful. I think we have a question to ask you. You are? Yes. What is it? Val, are you saying yes to the dress? I am saying yes to the dress and so much more. This dress is amazing. I think it has all the right stuff. I cannot wait to get on that glacier and to say I do. Oh man. Ugh, this is terrible. Disappointed in the weather. It would break my heart if, if we were unable to get married on the glacier. If they can go up in the rain, hopefully the visibility is okay. Maybe we'll get a window of time. The helicopter said that they could fly in a light rain, and so I'm just hoping that that's the case. I hope that they have the visibility to get us up there and down safely. I don't know, Jack, I can't even see the mountain. <laughs> it's like over there somewhere. I'm so bummed. This is not what I pictured at all. I'm really worried. Everything's been so perfect until now, like a fairy tale. I really want it to be perfect for him and for me, but this is his dream too, so it'll be great no matter what. But if we could make this one miracle happen, it would just be even sweeter. So I hope it will work out. I'm gonna get ready right now and I'm just gonna pretend like this thing's gonna happen. I'm just gonna have the faith. I'm feeling like I look pretty decent here. Thinking I'm cleaning up pretty good. Hi, Alexa. Okay. No, I understand. She'll be heartbroken. Um, Val, I have some bad news. The helicopter company called, and they're going to have to cancel today. I'm really sorry. Do they think they can do it another time? Um, I am going to do my best to reschedule everything and see if we can come up with another time on the glacier. Okay. All right? I'm sorry. Thank I'm you. really sorry. It's disappointing because I had all these emotions already. Hey. Hey. You look just like out of a magazine. Thank you. You look nice. Thank you. I came in here to tell you that we're not having the wedding today. Okay. It's okay. I have patience through all this stuff that I've been through. One way or the other, no matter what, we're gonna get married and it's gonna be a beautiful Alaskan wedding. Awesome. I think we're getting married today. It's beautiful. I woke up this morning and I got so excited. I saw the sun come through the windows. I heard helicopters flying over and I knew that today was the day we were getting married. I love you. I love you too. I feel great. It's exciting. It is not a dress rehearsal. <laughs> are you sure? We are really getting married on a glacier today. You like my boots? Oh, you got your Alaska oh, socks on. I'm in lovely Juneau, Alaska, and I'm about to be a bride. I'm feeling nervous, excited, heart's beating fast. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Everything that Valerie does after her cancer journey means the world to her. Every moment that we share together is special to her, is special to me. I can't wait to marry Valerie, especially on this glacier. Seeing Val walk towards me, my heart dropped. I mean, she was stunning. 
I am standing on a glacier in this magnificent creation. I feel magical. It's a dream come true. Well, I'd love to welcome you on top of the beautiful Mendenhall Glacier. Jack and Val, may this kind of true love always help you keep the promises you are about to make today. May these rings always reflect the light of your love throughout your life together. I marry you with this ring. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. Jack, this ring is a token of my love. Is a token of my love. It is my great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Please kiss your bride. <laughs> Jack, we're not married on an iceberg. <laughs> it's cold. Yes, I love you. I love you too.